This morning in Chicago, which is evening for several of our attendees, we are honoring projects from around the globe, all with a distinct impact and most importantly, strong and excellent coherent design. All of the projects were judged on suitability of design to the project challenge, originality of the design solution, and the successful integration of interior finishes and furnishings. Mm -hmm. This particular group of projects showcased new ideas through brave and thoughtful execution. No video. But first, I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge our jurors for their dedication in doing the hard work of selecting the winning project. While you're going to be seeing me right now, each juror will be joining us on screen to share thoughts about some of the projects. All right, now through some webinar magic by uh, Team IIDA, uh, they're going to be popping up on their screen. Let's see, jurors, are you there? Oh, yep. I see faces. This year's accomplished jurors are Lauren Chipman, CEO of Chipman Design and Architecture here in Chicago. Michael Davis, founder and principal of Michael Davis Architects and Interiors. And Jean Vignas, our wonderful, wonderful friend. How are you all? Give us a wave. Hi. Thank you. Hi there. Perfect, perfect. Thank you. All right, we're going to be calling you back on screen in just a bit. So don't stray too far. Don't take a break. All right, before we introduce this year's winners, I wanna take a moment, I wanna take a moment to showcase the amazing finalists for our 28th annual Will Ching competition. Again, the Will Ching competition is open for firms of five or fewer employees, so extraordinary work by small firms. Each year, choosing winning projects gets more and more difficult as the level of talent and sophistication continues to grow. Here you are seeing the finalists in uh, the competition. One of the great things about technology is that we can still be connected while we're all apart and give everyone a moment to share. So for this program, we've requested some quick video introductions from our finalists and from our winners. Let's see one now. Hello, I'm Chris Kern, director and founder of Glocal Design. From Mexico City, finalist at the IIDA Awards Chicago competition. Really honored to be part of it. Uh, Chapel Studio was a personal project to me because being a, an architect and a musician, it was a double challenge project, so it was a dream come true. I wanted to create a space where I could play music too, and the results were really interesting, turning a 1920s house into a music studio. All the sound systems hidden beneath the wooden stripes, lots of sunlight, like a chapel, a light, uh, lots of vegetation, and a very clean space. I had a very happy client, a musician of mine, once visited and told me thanks for creating spaces that inspire musicians. We need those. So I'm really happy with your result and really honored to be part of the finalists. Thank you very much. Stay safe. That was, that was fantastic. What better combination than design and music? It's so heartening to hear from our winners and to see these wonderful projects. And as always, we encourage all designers to please, we need you, keep up that wonderful work. Now, to introduce the winner of the 28th annual Will Ching competition. Rethinking the concept of the gallery wall, Arsha Architects wanted to frame the artwork and present spectators with journeys in possible times and space. Lauren, can you join us with audio and video and tell us what you thought about this space? Um, 
I thought this was an extraordinary space. The gallery seamlessly brings the art into the 21st century. And uh, we love the juxtaposition of the very minimal interior with the rich architectural and futuristic feel. I thought it was a well, uh, well thought out, strong space with exceptional execution. Here are a few words from the winner. Gallery 19C is a specialist in 19th century paintings. Although classical today, they mark a radical departure in the lineage of the medium. Inspired by the future bedroom in Stanley Kubrick's 2001 A Space Odyssey, we were given insight into how classical art can be juxtaposed with a futurist setting in order to amplify an object as a precious and unique artifact, as opposed to the contemporary concept of a white wall gallery. In order to express this ephemeral ambience, we made every effort to conceal building technologies such as lighting, mechanical, fire, life safety. This in addition to being located on a storefront of a high rise and a busy intersection in the city of Beverly Hills, presented truly unique challenges for the design and execution team. We wanted to thank the IIDA and the members of the jury for recognizing our intervention. This project was the result of a true team effort from the ambition and enthusiasm of the owner to the construction team to the design consultants that made the truly challenging aspects of the project disappear into the background and to allow the work to shine and function with its intended performance. Thank you. Cheers. Congratulations, Arsha Architects. What an incredible project. So evocative. Um, thank you, Lauren. No problem. And uh, cheers to the Will Ching finalists and uh, the winner. The finalists uh, from the 47th Annual Interior Design Competition showed surprising new ideas through brave and thoughtful execution. That's quite a pairing, brave and thoughtful. Let's give a hand to all of these great firms. I'm now pausing for applause while we view this stunning work. Incredible. Superlative effort, superior standards. Thank you all so much for your contributions to interior design excellence. Now, I'm excited to share the winners of the 47th Annual Interior Design Competition. Let's continue. For our first winning project, the firm Fun Connection Design created a space for children's activities that is flexible, interactive, and enhances the traditional teaching model, proving good design knows no demographic boundaries. It's for all ages. Michael, are you able to uh, activate audio and video and share some thoughts about this project? I'd be very happy to. Can you hear me okay? I can hear you and I can see you. Oh, good. Um, well, it's really lovely to be uh, seeing this project again. It's like looking at an old friend. Um, what I loved about it uh, is what I love about all great architecture in that it, it fully engages and acknowledges uh, the, the client and the user, in this case, children. And the space responds in a very playful and evocative way. Um, it's layered. It's a wonderful use of material and color. Uh, and it seems like an absolutely marvelous place for children and adults to play. I congratulate you um, for your sensitivity and your success. Perfect. Thank you, Michael. And congratulations Perfect. to Fun Connection Design of Shanghai. All right, next, Living Lab by JC Architecture of Taipei built a new housing model to demonstrate new possibilities in dense residential urbanization in Taipei City. 
um, they real uh, they revitalized this very long forgotten area. Lauren, can you join us and share a thought about this amazing project? Hi. Um, <laughs> this is an absolute jewel box of a project. Uh, the varied use of materials is exhilarating, and the designers demonstrated a strong ability to merge architecture with interiors while introducing rich layers of space, light, and texture. Um, it was such an extraordinary uh, opportunity to showcase a different type of living, and, and I think that's really what drew us to it. Perfect. Thank you, Lauren. And um, let's hear from JC Architecture. Love that, that we were invited into that celebration. Uh, congratulations to JC Architecture. Um, so now a project rather near and dear to us here in Chicago, the Clio Art Residences by JGMA um, intentionally challenged the norms in affordable housing construction. Um, this project is absolutely amazing. Um, when you think about affordable housing, we think about the need for pride and dignity. And this particular project um, emphasized making natural light and quality of living the overriding priority in the project for the people that will reside in this amazing space. Jilan, can you please share, um, join us with audio and video and share some thoughts about this project? Hi, so we love this project and we just wanted to call it out and and we wanted everybody to be able to see this. It's a project that just elicits a discussion about what affordable housing is and what it could, can look like. Um, we felt like the tactical use of light and this um, graphic color blocking that happens all over the place was just it just proves that accessible uh, that that um, that design is accessible in so many ways, and it's a true statement how important it is for everybody to be able to experience an elevated space. And this this project has delighted us. Thank you, thank you, Jilan. JGMA also shared a few thoughts with us as well. If we can hear from uh, if we can hear from the firm. Perhaps we did not have that video. Okay, all right. We will move on to uh, the uh, congratulations, though, uh, to JGMA for such an amazing project project that demonstrates and so well demonstrates something that is so important to all of us worldwide, particularly in this difficult moment that we're enduring now in the United States 
uh, dignity, equity, and justice in design. So thank you for that. Um, our next winner, the Amos Rex Art Museum uh, in Helsinki, introduces contemporary architecture uh, to a prestigious site, um, integrating historically valuable architecture and creating a new and innovative center for the visual arts. Michael, can you please share some thoughts about this amazing project? I'd be delighted to. Um, this was really, or is really, truly a breathtaking uh, project. It's, um, uh, it, it, it manages somehow to illustrate that, that modern architecture, even minimal architecture, uh, can be warm and engaging and doesn't have to be uh, cold and, and, and empty. Um, the spaces are beautifully sculpted. The use of natural light is extraordinary. And it's a place I would very much uh, love to visit one day. In fact, it's a goal of mine. I, I congratulate um, a JKMM and uh, uh, consider this one of the shining stars of the competition. Absolutely, thank you so much, Michael. And again, congratulations to JKMM for Amos Rex, a truly, truly compelling space. And our next winner, the Shenzhen Insun Cinema at Jean La Botanica, Capital Land Mall, uh, by our friends from the One Plus Partnership Limited in Hong Kong. This space was inspired by the contrasting nature of color in negative film uh, that the cinema incorporates. Uh, and of course, it's a very family-friendly design. Uh, Lauren Chipman, can you join us again? And, and let's talk cinema. Absolutely. Um, you know, this space in particular had such a whimsical use of color and materials and color blocking, um, which formed to create an environment that catered towards children in the spirit of play, which I think is, is such an interesting use of space in a movie theater. The striped pipes throughout the space create movement, and we appreciated the design team's go big or go home attitude when conceptualizing this space. Yeah, pretty fantastic. That the color is amazing, it's inviting. Um, and again, although it's a space here we're seeing for children, it doesn't pander to the user. There's such a mature sophistication. Um, let's see, for my friends in the green room at IIDA, let's hear from uh, OnePlus about this project. We're from Hong Kong. I'm AJ Long. I'm Virginia Long. I would like to say thank you to IDA, our design team, our contractor, and our clients. Our clients have been supporting us to do whatever we wanted to design. We are putting our playground into our cinema. Please come to our cinema to play and watch movies. Thank you. Perfect. Cheers and congratulations to OnePlus. Cheers and congratulations to uh, Virginia and Ajax for a, for a compelling body of work. All right, our next winner. Drawing from the beauty of faceted precious stones to guide creative decisions, both in design and construction aspects, branding decisions, and even on the flow of food preparation, Hitzig Militello Architects created an elevated food experience full of whimsy. Jilan, we're seeing a lot of hospitality work, um, particularly in this competition. What made this project stand out for you and your fellow jurors? Well, I remember seeing this for the first time when it, when it went onto the screen and just being completely and utterly delighted by this. I mean, 
it was so different and it was so refreshing. And it's just an important example of how design can bridge gaps in surprising ways, you know, the old and the new in this case. And um, a respectful intervention to a period building and a space takes on a really modern character that's inviting and comfortable. And um, they have something to say about their project. So let's hear from them. This project isn't just an ice cream shop. The main idea was conceived as an experience of oniric landscapes as if, it, as if it were from another world with a completely different logic. Unknown and fantastic lands made us think of precious crystal stones. Their faceted surfaces inspired us to create a construction system with which we could give an architectonic solution to all the project requirements from architecture, interiorism, lighting, and even graphic design. On behalf of Hitzig Minitello Architects, we greet and thank you to all the staff of IIEA. We are very honored to receive this prestigious award. It is a pity due to the current situation. We cannot be celebrating all together tonight. We thank you for the opportunity of being able to show our project worldwide. We are looking forward to meet the organization in the near future. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Hey. <laughs> that was fantastic. Cheers to Hitzig Militello and um, to all of our winners. We now want all winners to turn on their cameras and wave hello. We want to see you. We want to be able to see you and congratulate you. Is everyone able to uh, turn on their cameras? All right. Well, we wait for everyone to join us on screen. Let's all on our own give a round of applause to all of our winners. Thank you so much for your contributions to the profession of interior design and to this competition. Uh, please stay with me all for just a moment and we're going to announce the best of competition winner. Um, IIDA, are we able to be able to see all the winners? Give a moment for technology to do what technology does. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Helen, I'm seeing your message. Should I continue to continue to hold? Let's see. Okay. All right, we're going to announce the, uh, we're going to announce the best of competition right now. Virtual drum roll. The uh, 2020 interior design competition best of competition winner is Amos Rex by JKMM Architects. Yay, applause. Thank you so much to all the winners. We're gonna see you again, or see you for the first time in a moment. Unfortunately, JKMM could not join us today, but let's bring our jurors back. Um, all of our jurors are going to come back on, and we're gonna have a quick chat about what stood out for each of you for this particular project. All right, jurors. Uh, Lauren, how about if you start us off? Sure. Um, for this project in particular, I was immediately drawn into and frankly mesmerized by the images. And what struck me about the spaces is that they were extremely varied, but um, they also had a kind of sense of timelessness. And, and I think whenever we are looking at extraordinary design like this, we always want more. We want to understand the space. We want to be able to walk through it, even if we're just looking at an image. And, and I think that's really uh, one of the things that spoke to the jury. Michael? Uh, hi. Um, what can I say? Um, <laughs> this project just leapt off of the, the screen, I think, for all of us. And, you know, for me, what was, was quite remarkable about it 
uh, which isn't a particularly architectural perspective, was that it it somehow seemed um, at the same time to be um, uh, completely new and also familiar, uh, which is the highest compliment I think I can pay uh, any uh, work of architecture. It's just an absolutely masterful uh, and, and beautiful work of art. And um, I hope we all get to see it one day. And John? Okay, the space was, I know Michael has said this already, but this was a space that I saw on the screen and I just thought, this is not enough. I have to go. I have, <laughs> I have to experience the space. And I have to smell it. I have to be there. I have to understand it fully. And it's also the combination of the spaces, the, the movie theater from the 1930s that they renovated and and, and brought back to life so beautifully. And uh, it just the joyfulness of this project was just absolutely astounding. And I think we were all in agreement. There was no doubt that this was a, a true winner and, and bravo. Yes, absolutely. And um, in the chat, we're receiving messages that JKMM is actually on the line. They're viewing the Zoom so Congratulations. Um, I'm getting a note from my team. Let's do it. Let's bring them up if we can. I'm waiting for Zoom direction here. All right. <laughs> I'm, we're thrilled that they were able to join us. So in the meantime, we're all planning a trip to Helsinki, I think. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, and, oh my gosh. There you are. Congratulations. Yes, uh, thank you so much. And uh, on behalf of our entire team, so thank you. And we are so happy about this, uh, this honor and we really appreciate this award. So this, this means a lot to us. And uh, Amos Rex just opened its doors yesterday uh. after being closed for, for almost uh, three months. So it's ready to welcome all the visitors again and hope to see you in Helsinki soon. <laughs> Thank you. We hope so too. Thank you so much for joining us. Cheers. What a, what a wonderful thing to hear um, that Amos Rex is open for the public um, a beautifully designed place and what a place to be welcomed back to. Um, thank you for amazing work. Thank you for submitting the work and thank you for joining us. That's fantastic. Um, I'm energized now. Um, this was amazing. Um, here in Chicago, it's still morning. Um, I'm ready to start my day uh, after seeing all of this incredible work. Uh, thank you so much for all of you for joining us. It seems like no matter what is going on in our world, that we can always be uplifted and inspired by design. It's what design does best. It reminds us what's best about humanity. Uh, thank you so much for everyone uh, joining us today. We've invited all the representatives of the winning and finalist firms to turn on their cameras. We were going to try to get a group photograph. So I think we're going to, if, my, if Team IIDA tells me that's okay, we're going to try to do that. Um, so if everyone, again, round of applause. And yeah. And are we able to get, look at that. There, look. Thank you all so much. Cheers to all the winners. There are a few folks that can't turn on their cameras, but we're trying to get a, as many of you as we can. It's amazing. Thank you all. I'm glad. Thank you all for smiling. Thank you all for all that you do. Uh, one last thing for everyone here. Uh, we've shared a link in the chat that leads to our digital winners brochure, uh, which features photography from all of these incredible, incredible projects. Uh, before you head off into your day or to your evening, please take a moment to grab that link, download it. You can read and share the PDF as our takeaway. I see it just popping up in the chat now, the winner's brochure. Um, 
please enjoy, please be inspired. Uh, the competition for this year, right? As crappy as 2020 has been, it can't take great design away from us. Uh, we'll be, uh, stay tuned for more details. Uh, we look forward to celebrating great work, all the great work done in 2020 and 2021. Again, to all of you, stay safe, stay healthy, stay optimistic and inspired. Thank you to our jurors. Thank you so much to Team IIDA, Lisa and Claire. Cheers to all. Thanks again. Take care. Have a great rest of your day or evening. Best wishes from IIDA.